Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. My name is Courtney. I resell clothing on the internet and that can be something that's really anxiety filled right now for many of us who also do that because I know a lot of the Goodwills and other thrift stores that we find our inventory at are currently closed. However, I wanted to jump on and make this little mini series because you have options and they're definitely profitable. So backstory for those who don't know, I work as a teacher and I also go to school full time. So even before all this, I personally didn't have the most time to go into physical thrift stores. So I have been sourcing online for over a year and it's definitely really profitable. Check out this Giovanni dress that I found for $25 and flipped for 350. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on each morning this week, I'm gonna make a video on a different platform every day that I like to use to source online. And I will leave a link below that has a playlist of all of these videos so you can find them easily in one spot. So let's get straight into it. Number one, thread up. Now, I know that thread up can be really frustrating for a lot of resellers when they think about it from a standpoint of sending clothing in. However, when it comes to sourcing, there is a gold mine just waiting. So there's definitely money to be made. I think that because thread up doesn't add in keywords like other platforms do or style names, if you have that brand research, which you can find in my other videos, then you will definitely succeed. So here are a couple tips for getting started with ThreadUp. All right, so the first thing you need to know is where to start looking. And I like to use the 90-10 rule, as I'm gonna call it. And basically what that is, is 90% of what, you, let's see, that would be more like this. 90% of what you want to be looking at is what is just in, brand new items. So you're able to filter how you're gonna view the items. And one of the options when it says sort by is new arrivals. So that is what you wanna be looking at because if it's just been added to the site, it's usually really great because those are the things that people are gonna to wanna to pick up first. However, there is that little 10% over here that is kept for, okay, wait, back a story because I have to explain this in order for this to make sense. People send items into ThreadUp and they have a window of amount of days that they can sell. If they don't sell in that amount of days, then the people who sent them in either have to buy them back or they just get donated. So this 10% down here, there is a sort by recently price dropped. So what happens is people wait that entire time slot. They have the prices really high, the item doesn't sell, and then they get a little worried because they get down to like maybe 20, 10, five days and then they're gonna lose their item. So they drop the prices dramatically. And when this happens in this 10 little window here, you can find some really great deals. So after you've searched through all of the new arrivals, then I like to go into the sort by and look at items that have recently been price dropped because a lot of times you can find really great items that way as well, just because people have an urgency to try to sell those items quickly. So they're gonna go down to their lowest price. Another great thing to know about ThreadUp is if you're consistently sourcing through there, I think you have to make two purchases. Once you make two purchases, you are able to have item, you're able to bid on items. So items that are coming to the site before anyone else has access to them, over in the left-hand column, you're gonna see a little thing that says new, open for bids. and you can find really great items in that section as well. You do have to make at least two purchases on ThreadUp to ungate that feature, but it is so excellent. However, if you're going to do that and use that as a way to get items, my advice is to not bid on an item until it is just about to end, because what happens is you're just gonna make that price go up even more, and someone's gonna wait and they're gonna steal it from you just like eBay back in the old days, um, before you even have a chance to get it. So definitely there's little heart buttons where you can like an item, like it, put a timer on your phone so that you know when that is about to end, jump on, 10 seconds left, place your bid. Another question I get a lot is, am I searching by category, like dresses, pants, blazers, etc., or am I searching by brand? And I think this is an excellent question because my answer does change depending on what platform I'm looking at. 
When it comes to thread up, I'm definitely searching on a by brand basis. If you don't know what brands that you want to be looking for, definitely go into the platforms that you're currently selling on and see what's selling for high money on those platforms. That will give you a little insight into what you want to be looking for. Another great feature is the bundle and save option. So the reason I like this is because I can continuously be buying things throughout the week and I'm not paying shipping. So if you spend over $79, you get free shipping. However, ThreadUp gives you the option to do a bundle and save, which basically means that you can shop and check out and pay for items multiple times without having that item ship yet. And you can basically create this bundle, so to speak. And at the end of the week or after you hit that $79 mark and you wanna have that shipped, you can then go ahead and ship that item. But what I like about this is that if there's one thing I like one day, but I don't see anything else, then I can go ahead and I can purchase that item and not worry about the shipping. I like this because unlike other sites I'm gonna talk about this week, you do have to pay shipping each time you buy an item with those sites. Whereas with this, you're able to get free shipping and you're able to put a lot of items together. I also wanna talk about assorted brands, but before I get into that, please know that you really want to get comfortable first with purchasing on ThreadUp and getting a hang for it and getting a hang of it before you get into assorted brands. But there is some amazing items that you can find in the assorted brands. Assorted brands is basically just anything that they don't know what the label is. Um, maybe it's like an anthropology brand where it has a logo instead of actually saying the words or just they don't have a category created for that brand yet but that doesn't mean that it's not a good item or a good brand. So if you know your stuff and you've done a lot of research, you can go into the assorted brands once you're really comfortable and you can find some really amazing, great brands that they just didn't list underneath the brand that it is. Kind of confusing, but once you kind of get into it, it'll make more sense. So I absolutely love sourcing on ThreadUp. I hope these tips helped you. If ThreadUp is not your jam, that's okay. There are still several other places that you can go to source inventory online. Like I said, I will leave a link below and I'm gonna be popping on each morning to share a different place where you can find inventory during this shutdown. I guess it's not a shutdown, I guess it's a lot. A self-distancing quarantine. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next video.